do you subscribe to Brian Burke's photography channel on YouTube? Speaking of digital worlds that we... Maybe. He just had a video come out where he was being, you know, very open and kind No of disrespect to, to Brian. Yeah. If, no, I, if I do subscribe, I... My it, answer to everything I, is maybe because I just I'm terrible at I've recalling. I've been subscribed to him for several months, but it wasn't until this last video that I like actually like committed his name to memory. Yeah, and it was because his video was very real and vulnerable, and he talked about phone addiction and the struggles that he's having, how it's keeping him from doing work, especially short form content that's yeah. like just giving him a constant like hit of dopamine, you know, and and what it was doing to him. I think about that with my yeah. kids, of course. Uh, and you know, them having access to some digital devices in our home or video games and whatnot. Um, and you know, like us talking about what was going on tonight, photo gallery, all this, like hanging out, like all that gets me excited because what would I normally do after this? I would go home and it's great to have dinner with my family. <laughs> yeah, all that stuff, yeah. Put the kids to bed and all that. But as soon as they go to bed, I'm on the couch and it, I, it's very fulfilling to me to watch some of this content because it's longer form. I think it is meaningful. People like yeah. Brian Burks are talking about their issues, well, we their need problems. To, we need to start this. I mean, we need to start fixing our attention spans as, it, yeah. as a generation. You know, we're two generations lost now and we're, we're, we're well into the, the, you know, misnavigation of a third. It's time that we start making that a priority, mm -hmm. uh, fixing our attention, because I think that's part of the reason why there is this bubble of loneliness, because like you said, you're lucky to have people in your life that you can just call up and yeah, well, that takes time. You know, it right. takes time to build those relationships and it takes time to build those tangible mm -hmm. things. It takes time to build anything tangible. It right. takes time to write a page of paper to, you know, fill it with words. Mm -hmm. It takes time to build something out of wood. Um, it takes time for a tree to grow. Right. Um, I mean, these are goofy metaphors, but it, like it, it just takes time. And there's been this instantaneous yeah. uh, effect that digital's had on us that things should be instant. And, you know, waiting for my photos to get developed. Like, like, I such a, oh. like, like well, and it used to be like, like, any cow. communication. <laughs> you had to wait two weeks. You send yeah. a letter, you, you know, you have to wait two weeks. Now it's like, we'll send an email if it's, they didn't reply in two hours. How rude. Texting. Texting. Uh, you know. Well, you've told you've talked to yeah. me about this before. Yeah. Where it's like you'll send me a text and I'm the word I'm notoriously bad yeah. text back person. And it's also just like I don't even know where my phone is right now. Right. Like I just that's which, is, which, which that's my state a lot of times. You know, being friends with you and and, and and making stuff together, I have grown to just like there's no no like like I sat there and I said, why why does not getting a reply relatively soon after something like I don't want to say get me worked up but yeah. like just create a little buzz of something like a tension yeah, yeah like a little yeah. tension or like a little morsel of anxiety whatever it is like yeah. this thing hasn't been sort of I don't have closure for yeah. this thing that's out there and it's like like how like yeah how ridiculous and it's it's funny because I mean I, I this was just my natural inclination and I, that's I'm just we gotta wrap we gotta wrap this up pretty soon but it's like I I don't put and this is no disrespect to anybody who's texting me. And I, this is, I, I want to explain this almost just to let myself off the hook. Yeah. I don't put value into that. I, I yeah. don't. And there are some people that I text and like, I, I love and we don't get a chance to talk. And I do put a lot of value into the text. And sometimes my habits, you know, cross over with those people. But I, you know, I don't love talking on the phone, but I much prefer that to texting. Yeah. But I much prefer this. Yeah, I mean, we'll sit. I mean, we can yeah. sit at a coffee shop for three hours, and it goes. It'll by go like by that. like that, and it's just and this. you're sort of, and you're almost like if you have to end it, you're like I, I'm I'm good for more. Yeah, I mean, I had a meeting we're good to Craig. go. Yeah, that was seven hours long. Yeah, yeah, seven hours because you just caught and this up was, and, and this was uh, the second time I'd ever spoken to him. Yeah, yeah, no, and it's, it's and I wonder if that too is a is indicative of you know he's running a company. And he's in a digital bubble, you yeah. know, not to say he doesn't have interaction or but whatever. But then suddenly it comes. But then like, suddenly whoa, you're whoa, like whoa. sitting across yeah. from someone and you have good chemistry. There's, you know, whatever, all yeah. that stuff lines up. And it's like you just consume it voraciously yeah. in a sense. And like, we'll, like, like there's some uh, deprivation that you've been Yeah, under you're, that. you're trying to, you know, your, your reservoir is empty. You've got yeah, to refill yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I think I think that's a good place to end it. But I mean, if, you know. I 
think if we had anything to, to, to put out there, it's just like, go have a conversation with somebody with a str- Like I found myself even really excited lately about, I'll be walking down the street and just, you know, removing that fear of, you almost have to re- re- remove that sense of self, like self projection or self judgment that yeah. you get because I think that prevent like everybody's like oh somebody's gonna judge me if I but just like smiling at people like oh yes. how how's your day going J- yeah. starting a random conversation and like yeah sometimes you start a random conversation and it's like I got a place to be or I got a thing to do and it's like I gotta make some content you're, I get it you're holding yeah, me you're up. busy I like go yeah, digitize I gotta, stuff <laughs> but like look a twenty five minute conversation with a stranger is not gonna kill you and especially it's probably if it's, it's probably the one conversation have. they've had all oh, week yeah. well and. You know, if, if it helps to see it from, from this side of it, it's like that could also be the conversation that sets up something yeah. that you've been wanting yeah, to happen. the domino effect. Yeah, and that, I don't think that should ever be the intention. No. But that is, you know, that's just a thing. That's how things happen. Right. And, I mean, just go have a conversation. Go sit in some grass. Like, go for a walk. Like, I think don't overcomplicate it. You know, if yeah. you're feeling down, Maybe it's because you're a little bit detached from nature. I mean, that's why that's why winter kills me so much here. And and I'm really gonna try to figure out how to embrace like how to embrace winter. I've yeah. I all winter long took walk, two walks a day uh, downtown, um, just as part of my exercise. Yeah. But then also to disconnect. I mean, I've had music on, but you know, I'm occasionally listen to a podcast. But I'm not even listening to podcasts when I yeah. work out anymore because it's it's a different state. We won't go too far, but. The the, the 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 photography component in going out and doing photography to me has become this middle ground in a number of ways. I'm especially with film photography, I'm not holding a computer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I don't mean a computer that the f- camera isn't a computer that it's so convoluted right. and complex that I'm like using it as a computer. Um, uh, I am sort of out in the world. I'm doing something yeah. that's away from my digital world, even though I'm ultimately going to be creating something that I'm going to transfer back into that digital mm-hmm. world, the photos I take, whatever. Um, but I think the rush and the thrill I've gotten from going out and doing urban landscape, street photography, documentary photography is... Uh, you know, being unplugged from that digital world and kind of listening. It's, it just sounds so corny, but listening yeah. to the source, the universe, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Just interacting just, with what's presented to you. Yeah, and yeah. I think when people go to nature, like it's so, it's it's like sort of shoved in your face, like these mountains, yeah. this lake, this, this stuff is amazing. Like, like look at what just exists out there. Yeah. And when I do that in a city or a urban setting, a suburban setting, you know, like I'm looking for that and then I can yeah. capture it. Whether well, I don't whether know. like you, you keep the photograph for yourself, it's it's there, it's yeah. analog, or you digitize it to put it out to in put the it world out. to share well, the work. I think, you know, like Vivian Mayer took all these photos and nobody yeah. even knew they existed. Right. And it's like that didn't make her any less of a photographer. No, it sure didn't. And um I think, you know, we we talked a little bit about that idea of like synchronicity and just, you know, when you open yourself up and you're willing to listen to the world, you, it, maybe this is just because we have, you know, we, we try to create these patterns from everything. That's just like the human, yeah. the, the, the reaction that humans have. And we try to place our pattern on everything, but it does seem like when you are open and you're willing to listen that things start to connect. Yeah. You know, we, we have all of these random things that are on our mind and then we sit down and have these conversations and it's like, I didn't even consider this connects to this and this connects right. to this and just everything connects and you, it, it's like that feeling in nature where you feel small, smaller than you've ever felt and more connected than you've ever felt simultaneously. Yeah, I think, and I think that is, you know, our digital worlds can sometimes inflate our sense of self like yeah. we are the center of the, We're the, of center. the of this yeah. digital yeah. world and yeah. then when you go out in the world and you listen while i'm taking street photography when i go out in nature it brings that brings that down it brings it brings things back down to reality which is you know uh you are not that center and, and yeah. being a youtuber yeah. And having a community and an audience that watches your videos yeah. and all well, that. Especially like like that you've digital... had you've had quite a bit of success too, and that's easy to be like. 
it, it can, I am the shit. It can make you feel like you're the sun in the solar system mm-hmm. sometimes, and not necessarily in like a ungrateful or an egotistical yeah. way, or a, uh, my followers come yeah. or whatever, <laughs> like a prophet or something. Yeah. But but it, it it can it can lock you into sort of um, thinking that the the digital stuff is is it comes from you, whereas when you go out in the world. It's yeah. Reality is coming at you, and 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 there's a lot more nuance in the world, too, yeah. In reality, reality has a lot more nuance than yeah. than what the digital world has, and I think nuance is a it's a critical thing that we lack mm-hmm. these days. I, I, part of that, I think, is just because we've well, everything you know, just, everything's a binary. Yes, and, and trying to see the, the gray. It's funny, like yeah, we're the code is rewriting our code, how we yeah, how we. It's re- rewriting our metaphors, how we yeah. structure the world, yeah, uh, or conceptualize the world, and that's that's interesting. But I think that's that's a good thing to wrap it on. It had been a golden afternoon, and I remember having the familiar conviction that life was beginning over again with the summer and summer.